yeah today uh, we are going to learn about uh, product of prime factors and our first example question is uh, express 100 as a product of its prime factor so what you need to do you just write down 100 as it is okay and break 100 into two parts so and start with smallest number 2 yeah so if you divide 100 by 2 you get 50 yeah or you can say if you multiply 2 and 50 you get 100 similarly you can break 50 so you keep taking 2 2 and 25 yeah now after 2 let's try 3 but 3 doesn't go in 25 timetable try 4 it doesn't go in time 25 timetable let's go for 5 yeah so we got 5 times 5 that is 25 yeah and um, uh, basic thing you need to remember here always start with number uh, 2 first uh, follow this order 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 and so on yeah do not jump otherwise you will miss factors yeah like you cannot write 100 as a 10 times 10 yeah always follow the process start with the smallest number 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 and so on yeah so these are called prime factors yeah 2 2 5 and 5 yeah so how to write down the answers so how many twos are there there are two twos so let's write down two twos two times two and there are two fives here okay so what examiner wants to see examiner want to see uh, you should write this answer in index form so two is uh, if you see here two how many twos are there one and two so you can write down two to the power two okay now next one is five so how many fives are there so five are also two yes so five are also two so here so 5 to the power 2 so this is your answer that is 2 to the power 2 and 5 to the power 2 yeah so this is your correct answer now let's start another question that is express 160 as a product of prime factor so this is 160 start with 2 half of 160 is 80 or in another word you can say 2 times 80 becomes 160 and it will be 2 times 40 keep taking 2 then it will be 2 times 20 2 times 10 and then 2 times 5 yeah so uh, these are prime factors now so let's make a circle how many twos are there 1 2 3 4 and 5 twos and one five here yeah? so let's write down five twos and one five here yeah? one two three four and five five two and one five so how we are going to write down the answer how many twos are there so five twos so it will be two to the power five because there are five two one two three four five and one five 5 to the power 1 but when we don't write so it is understood so this is your answer yeah index form so now let's go for the practice question uh, your practice questions are here express 150 as a product of its prime factor and express 180 as a product of prime factor pause the video have a go and then you can check your working Welcome back if you have tried yeah so just check your working and check your answers against my answers so it will be 2 half of 150 will be 75 now 2 doesn't go in 75 let's take 3 so 3 goes in 75 yes 3 times 25 is 75 now let's take 3 3 goes in 25 no so no need to take 3 go for 4 4 doesn't go in 25 don't take 4 let's take 5 here yeah? 5 times 5 always follow the order first 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 and so on up to 10 so our prime factors are 2 and 75 3 25 5 and 5 so these are prime factors 2 3 5 and 5 how we are going to write down the answer 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 okay there is only one two 
so no need to write one here on the top there is only one three no need to write and how many fives are there two so it will be five to the power two so this is your answer yeah next question it is um, 180 let's start with two so two half of 180 is 90 again two half of 90 is 45 then let's take uh, then two we cannot take because two into timetable 45 doesn't come or you can say you can do half of 45 that will be decimal so decimal we don't take so let's take three so three and 15 then again you can take three and five okay so our prime factors are these ones two two three three and five here yeah? so let's write down the answer two twos two threes and one five yeah so answer in index form like two to the power two three to the power two because there are two threes two two so i have written two and one five five to the power one one we don't write this one we don't write so uh, even if you write it doesn't matter but you no need to write so this is your final answer yeah nice and easy so i hope you have learned this prime factors method in my next video i'm going to teach you uh, lcm and hcf using prime factors method thank you for watching